Hey everybody, this is Paul with Collector's Escape. We're going to be talking today about comic books. And has it ever happened to you, you're at the comic book store and they've got a whole bunch of discounted comics and you're going through and you're thumbing through the crates and you see something that's, that's, that catches your attention. And it's discounted, so I mean, you got a really low amount of risk in your purchase. But then you see that there's like another one in the series, and another one in the series, and another one in the series, and another one of the series. And then you kind of get hooked in that not only did you like what you saw originally, but now you got a chance to get a whole bunch in a row of the series that you like, and you, 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 you grab them up. Say, all right, man, I'm going to make my purchase, go make my purchase. And then you hand reaches over into another cart and you see a whole bunch more. And you're going in a row, in a row, in a row. And, and you know, then at some point you, you're starting to get ridiculous. You grab out another bunch. You say, oh, I can't buy these and not buy these. Because they go together and they're really cool, but now it's starting to get a little ridiculous on the cost, but oh well, let's do it. That's what happened to me with the new gods. I came across these and uh, they caught my attention. Now the new gods originally started in around 1970. They were a sub-genre of superheroes and super villains that came out of the uh, Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen edition in 1970. They didn't get their own number one setting until 1971. Now this is 19, this is number three. Here's number four. Here's number five. Number six. Now let me just tell you a little bit about the plot of the New Gods. The New Gods is about these aliens from twin planets that come together called New Genesis and Apocalypse. They have a special way with a K spelling it. But these two planets are very close together, so the, the people that live on are similar. However, the planets are very different. Let me show you some more. Number seven. Number nine. When I look at this guy on number nine, who does this little creature here reminds you of are you old enough to remember the little dude that had the sword i have the power the gray skull folks i mean that looks like the critter from going back um, to that television series even though it's not once again number 10. now this one here is an 80s, 1980s version. Who does this fella look like? Well, who have you seen recently that you'd say he looks quite a little bit, especially the head cover? Kind of looks a little bit like the Suicide Squad that's out there that they talk about. Now, here's the difference between the two planets is that New Genesis is a utopia. Everything, beautiful, lush, productive, peace, tranquility, clean air. It's, it's like a, a, just a beautiful ozone level and everything. And then Apocalypse is the opposite, even though they're very close planets. It is a nightmare. Terrible smog, terrible pollution. It is a terrible climate, terrible things happening, and terrible people that inhabit it. Inhabitate it. Here is number 12. Number 
And you know it's a 80s or early 90s when you see Tango and Cash on the back side. <laughs> Number 14. Number 15. Ford Fairlane on the back of there. Do you remember that? Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Got the cigarette, bring it around. Oh, bring it around, smoke it. Oh my goodness. That shows my age. You can see the problem here. There's so many of them. They were in, they were in uh, good condition. They weren't torn up. Number 16. Number 18. So these comics would, would show you the, the good guys and the bad guys from these two planets, New Genesis and Apocalypse, and how they would battle each other. Uh, you'd have a whole new line and an extensive line in this series of powerful uh, superheroes and supervillains that have their own special, unique, and different kinds of abilities. 22. That Clint Eastwood and the Rookie. These flashes from the past. What was it, 2018? Total Recall. Oh my goodness. Get your ass to Mars. Oh my goodness. 28. Oh, Claude Van Damme, double impact. <laughs> and so uh, these are high quality uh, artistry and the artistry is uh, Jack Kirby uh, productions, at least starting out. And so you can see how uh, you get these gripping, beautiful colors. And then the comic books themselves are uh, just well put together and so for me what's interesting is you get a whole new comics are always conflicts between good and evil there are always conflicts between trying to save stuff some trying to destroy stuff and now with the anti-hero you have the sort of good guy who's doing bad stuff but with the new gods you got a whole new litany of new people to look at and to see uh, who's more powerful, what happens when they team up, what happens when they conflict and come together and fight. What can they do? What can they do on Earth? What can they do on other planets? Uh, what's their backstory? Tell us more about these two unique planets. And so really it opens the door like you would have with other group setting comics that I think was, was pretty cool. I'm glad to have them. I'm going to round them out. And I'd say give them a look-see. Give them a look-see and see if they, if they find your interest. And maybe you'll find a big, giant, consensual or consecutive listing for a great price that I got these. Uh, the New Gods. Something cool, something different with comic books today. My name is Paul for Collector's Escape. Keep on collecting. Look down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Check out our videos because we talk about all kinds of cool stuff. And share our channel with your friends. We want to grow. We want to grow. Grow. And grow. My name is Paul. Thank you. Have a great day.